have you seen in some games when the character gets close to enemies within a certain range, the enemies recognize and start following them? Let's implement it in Unity. Here we have an enemy and a player. The enemy is going to detect that the player is getting closer than a certain limit, and after that, enemy should move toward player, and also attack player when it was in its range. In first step, create a script and add it to enemy. To detect distance, we use distance code. For this, define a float at top called distance. And in update, equal distance to vector3.distance. In parentheses, the enemy position means this.transform.position. And second part, player position. For this, define a transform called player at top. And in second part, write player.position. Now give player to define a transform and press play. Or right click and navigation, player moves, which we learned it before. Watch out the distance number. When character gets close to enemy, it decreases. And when it gets far, distance number increases. Open the script again. Let's say, if distance was less than 10, the enemy moves towards player. We move the enemy towards the player with navigation. As you can see, I already baked the ground. Now, we just need to add navmesh agent component to enemy. And in the script, define a navmesh agent and equal its destination to player.position. Then give navmesh agent to navmesh agent and press play. Now, when player's distance with enemy becomes less than 10, enemy moves towards it. But as you can see, it has a problem. When it gets close to player, it won't stop. To fix this, you only need a little increasing of a stop distance. For example, half past 1 till it stops before it reaches the target. Let's go for animations. I have already prepared some animations like idle, run, and attack. We have a full tutorial about how to create and how to use animations in Unity in our channel. In Animator window, I already defined a mode integer for them. That if it be 0, idle plays, if it be 1, run animation plays, and if it be 2, attack animation plays. Let's go for a script. To detect enemy is moving, use navmeshagent.velocity.magnitude command. Which if it be bigger than 1 means the character is moving, and if it be less than 1 means the character is stopped. Now define an animator and play run animation in this if. Now write else means when character was stopped, then play idle animation. Let's test. Give animator to define an animator and press play. Now, when the enemy reach the character, it must attack the character and attack animation should be played. In else, means when the character stands, write if, distance, was bigger than 5, idle animation plays. And if it was less than 5, means enemy is near character and attack animation plays. Let's test for last time. When player gets close to enemy more than a certain distance, enemy attacks towards it and when it reaches player, it starts attacking. Now, how to decrease player's health when enemy reach player and started attacking? We will talk about it in next tutorial. Hope you all have a great day.